Hello everyone, and welcome back to the chain play of Super Mario Bros. Click the annotation on the screen to go to part 1. Hello everyone, I am 3rd Mario Brother, and welcome to World 6 of Super Mario Bros, in which it seems that darkness has befallen the land and left in its wake nothing but destruction and despair and doom and terror and... Actually, playing this level when I was a little kid was a little bit unnerving for me, honestly, because against a completely black background, as it was in the original version of this game, Piranha Plants and Buzzy Beetles and stuff like that honestly did look a little bit intimidating. Or maybe it was just the fact that these were the levels that started getting a little bit more difficult to me. I mean, look up there at the top, we have a Lakitu throwing spinies at us and... being all cocky way up high and trying to impale our skulls and doing all that kind of stuff, and I suppose that we could have killed him if we wanted to, but I decided to let him live because Lakitu's a pretty alright guy, he's pretty cool, he's just... A not very down to earth, you know? <laughs> And that wins the award for dumbest thing that I have said all week, which is certainly saying something because I say quite a few dumb things on a weekly basis if you know me whatsoever. So let's go ahead and grab this mushroom and welcome ourselves to World 6-2, which is probably the most difficult level of World 6 to me, to be honest, because if you haven't noticed, there are piranha plants everywhere, a forest of pipes as far as the eye can see, packed with flowers that just want to chomp our brains out, those little devils. And um, it's a little bit easy to get hit on this level. Oh, Star, what are you doing? Come over here. It's pretty easy to get hit on this level, so I recommend you pick up that mushroom at the very beginning because, of course, it's always good to have a power-up in a Mario game, especially on a level so fraught with danger as this one. And as soon as you get that Star Man and get over that last little pit, you can just breeze through the end of the level because there's essentially no way for you to die so long as you're quick enough and you don't move backwards into the pit or anything. Anyway, I do like the, um touches that the graphical redesign had in this version of the game, because in the original version, like I mentioned a little bit ago, there is just a completely black background, and it's kind of bland and kind of terrifying looking, but here we have nice twinkling little stars, and it's kind of beautiful. Anyway, welcome to 6-3. From now on, there's a fla fire flower right there. I'm not going to go pick that up, though, because there's no real need for one at the moment, and I don't want to risk death over that huge pit. Uh, this is 6-3, which is a pretty easy level in principle, but oh my god, I have historically been terrible with those springs, and I'm surprised we've hit both of those so far because usually I would have hopped in that pit about 400 times by now. So anyway, let's go ahead and go over these falling platforms, grab ourselves the flagpole, and we have not died yet. And man, I am impressed with myself. I was expecting like 30 or 60 deaths before I got to the end of this bit. But anyway, there goes 6-3 and we may move on to World 6-4 in which we will be taking on Bowser and finishing this game up permanently. Just kidding, it's probably no spoiler that this isn't the last Bowser in the game, and that we're just gonna get yelled at by Toad to go waste more time somewhere else at the end of this, and whoa, Firebar, what are you doing? You are in my way, and you know what? I'll lose that power up. I want a real challenge when I'm taking on Bowser, and I'm probably jinxing, jinxing myself by being all cocky right now, but let's go ahead and stand right next to him, run under him, and there goes Bowser, and we have defeated the King of All Koopas, or... At least, like, a suit that sort of resembles one in- Whoa, what are you doing in that bag, Toad? <laughs> okay. Apparently there's a whole parade of them stuffed up into that hat. It doesn't look like there's a lot of room in that mush. Anyway, our princess is in another castle, and hopefully someone a little bit more competent than I will be able to find her. So, thank you all very much for watching this episode of The Chain Play. I hope you all enjoyed, I hope you've been enjoying so far, and I hope you continue to enjoy by clicking the icon on your screen right now and checking out World 7 as played by Zelda Master. So thank you all very much for watching, and enjoy the rest of The Chain Play.